Hey guys, so I uh, wanted to make a quick video to discuss uh, AMD's latest press conference. Uh, they just announced and unveiled their next line of graphics cards, and more importantly, um, I wanted to discuss Mantle. Mantle is AMD's new graphics API, and it's, in my opinion, very promising. Mantle is a low-level graphics API opposed to DirectX, which is a high-level graphics API. To put the difference in basic terms, uh, kind of think of it like this. A high-level API like DirectX or OpenGL are designed, most importantly, to work over a huge range of hardware. The problem with that is it becomes very inefficient in the long run with the constant and kind of ever-changing hardware and graphics market. You're basically sacrificing performance for compatibility with a high-level API. Mantle, on the other hand, is a low-level API which is specifically designed to take advantage of AMD's graphics core next technology. A good example of what Mantle can do, um, I'll tell you about draw calls. It's really one of the most important issues. Um, a draw call is an instruction sent to the GPU to get an object rendered on the screen. A single frame, for example, can be subject of over a hundred draw calls that all must be lined up and submitted to the GPU. Uh, if you asked around among developers, they will probably tell you draw call inefficiency is one of the biggest problems in developments these days. The problem is most modern GPUs can handle far more draw calls than can be submitted by modern CPUs. So you get basically a bottleneck. AMD has claimed that Mantle can process and direct upwards of nine times the amount of draw calls as DirectX. This would be a massive improvement over current APIs. What makes Mantle incredibly important and promising is that both the Xbox One and the PS4 are both based on AMD technology that use Graphics Core Next. Mantle will allow console developers much more flexibility over the years in squeezing every bit of performance out of those consoles hardware, something high-level APIs don't offer. Mantle, in effect, is Xbox One's low-level API brought to the PC. This is important to PC gamers because, let's be honest, we live in a world of console ports. This would allow a developer to directly port large portions of Mantle-optimized code directly to the PC. Before, low-level code for a console API was not compatible, and a new code for Direct3D would have to have been written if the game was brought over. The first game that will use Mantle will be Battlefield 4, and that will be introduced with a patch in December for those with GCN-based cards. Both AMD and DICE have said that Battlefield 4 running under Mantle is much more efficient than its Direct3D counterpart. The real question that makes or breaks Mantle will be adoption rate by developers and other hardware manufacturers. AMD claims Mantle will be a completely open API, which means NVIDIA could incorporate it into GeForce-based cards, and unlike DirectX, users cannot be held behind hostage paywalls like being forced to upgrade to Windows 8 to use its newest APIs. AMD has said numerous developers have been asking for this for a new low-level API, and if that's true, you know, it sounds like it may have a high adoption rate with developers. At the end of the day, though, it's hard to say if NVIDIA will choose to play ball. They have a track record of not being the friendliest kid on the block, while AMD has been more partial to open-ended feature sharing. But developers will ultimately push the decision if AMD's claims are true, then developers are eager to jump on Mantle, which may leave NVIDIA with no choice but to tag along for the ride. Now, something else I'm also curious to see how it turns out is if AMD brings Mantle support over to the Linux platform. Now this could be interesting because Valve with its new Steam box, if AMD manages to work something out with Valve and incorporates Mantle, um, you know that could be a, a, a big game changer not just for PC gamers but also for console users because Valve, they're not just wanting to position the Steam box as an alternative to PC gaming with a traditional desktop, they've also talked about how they want to add uh, your typical home theater kind of applications to it with YouTube and Hulu and Netflix. So it's a possibility that they could give home users the alternative of, of using a console or a desktop with the Steam Box since you're getting this kind of the same usability out of them. Um, it'll be inter interesting to see if they uh, do go there. Um, who knows what the future is going to hold with that. I know NVIDIA is looking to get on board with Valve too. So we'll just have to wait and see where that goes. 
Um, at the end of the day, though, <clears throat> I think Mantle is a very good thing. We really need to get away from Microsoft's stranglehold on DirectX. It's a closed API. It's behind paywalls uh, with Windows upgrades. Um, and to be honest, Microsoft just hasn't done enough with it. Uh, I think AMD can do a lot more with Mantle than Microsoft has done with DirectX. And I think, you know, time will tell if it turns out to be another Glide or not. I'm hoping it doesn't. I hope it becomes a new standard. I, I think it'll be good for PC gamers, whether you use NVIDIA hardware or AMD hardware. I think it has the potential for um, helping us both. So just keep an eye on it. Um, see, see where it goes over the next year, and hopefully it'll go somewhere good. Uh, but that's all I wanted to talk about, guys, and I'll catch you later.